Maternal health is an indicator of the well-being of our future generation. Child undernutrition imposes the greatest nutrition-related health burden at global level. 161 million children are stunted due to chronic malnutrition. 99 million children are underweight. 45% of child deaths are caused by child and maternal malnutrition. Sustainable Development Goal 3 aims to reduce maternal mortality as well as under 5 deaths by 2030. Both these goals are intricately linked. The state of health of an adolescent girl influences her nutritional status during pregnancy and lactation. This reflects upon the infant's health which has some role in the health of the child as he or she grows into an adult. So what happens when maternal health goes down? A vicious cycle of ill health ensues. Pregnancy-related complications like obstructed labor, antepartum and postpartum hemorrhage, low birth weight babies and increased maternal and fetal mortality are among the outcomes. A low birth weight baby is more likely to suffer from infections which results in poor health leading to a greater susceptibility to infections and so the cycle continues resulting in a malnourished individual. As a part of a global village we must remember that one can't thrive while the other suffers. What can be done? First, community education on nutritious diet and child feeding. Second, integration of nutrition education into smallholder farming. Third, women empowerment. And proper prenatal care, promotion of breastfeeding and family planning.